hypothesis testing of the population mean using a Poisson distribution. In a particular river, a bacterium occurs at an average rate of 1.8 per milliliter. A random sample of 5 milliliters is taken from a nearby stream which contained 3 bacterium. So the 3 will become our test value. We're going to test at the 10% level of significance whether the number of bacterium in the stream is fewer than the number in the river. So we're doing a one-tailed test. Before we start the test, the 1.8 is per milliliter. That's 1.8 bacterium in one milliliter. But the sample is five milliliters, so we need to make an adjustment. So we've got lambda, and then we've got the space. There's 1.8 bacterium in a space of 1 milliliter. So for 5 milliliters, for the random sample, the value of lambda is 9. So we're going to use a value of 9 in the test. So we've modified lambda. X is our discrete random variable. It represents the number of bacterium. And we're going to start off with the critical values method, which is a good method if you then go on to calculate the probability of uh, errors. So H0, lambda equals 9. H1, we're looking for a decrease. 10% significance level. So we need the following on tables. Lambda is 9. So from the tables, one of these values will become the critical value. And to decide which one is the critical value, we use the significance level. It's a 10% significance level. We're looking for less than, so any probability along here, which is less than 10%, the value of x next to it ends up in the critical region. So the first one, second one, the third one, so we're up to about 2% here. Still less than 10%, so the 3 is in the critical region, so is the 4. But the next probability, 0 0.11, is more than 10%. So 5 onwards, these values are not in the critical region. So our critical value is 4. The test value is 3. Three is in the critical region, so we reject H0. We need to give some evidence why 4 is the critical value, and here's the evidence. 4 defines this boundary where the critical region ends, and the probability for less than or equal to 4, so for this critical region, is within the 10% level of significance. And now we need our conclusion. Reject H0. There is significant evidence the stream contains fewer bacterium than the river. For the probabilities method, we make the modification to lambda. H0 and H1. So, so far it's the same as the critical values method. The test value is 3, and we're testing for less than in H1. So we calculate the probability that x is less than or equal to 3, and then compare this with the 10% significance level. And this probability is less than the 10%, so less than 0 0.1. 
which means the result is significant, and we reject H0. This method is quicker, however, because we have not calculated any critical values, rejection region, acceptance region, it will cause problems if we need to calculate the probability of type 1 and type 2 errors.